Hello, welcome to this video. It's Claire. Can you believe it's already time for another year in review video? I apologize for any background noise today. It is really rainy, so the rain is like making a lot of noise on the roof of the van. There's a lot of cars driving by because we're in a parking lot, but hopefully you can hear me okay. I've talked about this many times before, but if you're new to this channel, I actually started my YouTube channel on New Year's Eve going into 2020. So year in review videos are extra special for me. They also serve as a wrap up for another year of my YouTube channel experience. My first two year in review videos on this channel were really bad, first of all. I feel like I've come a really long way with my editing skills in the past 12 months. But my first two year in review videos were sort of just these like montages I made of video clips from that entire year, just to like reflect and be nostalgic. Last year's video, I did a sit down with Andy and we answered some questions to reflect on our year and just sort of put out what we hope to achieve in the new year. This year, I'm gonna do a combination of both. So I wanna start out by addressing where we are in life today compared to where we were a year ago. Today, we're in the process of finding a place to live and we're gonna be moving out of the van and into our new place within the next month, assuming everything goes as planned. Last year at this time, when I filmed this video, we were in Florida. We were just entering our sixth month of van life and we had a long way to go with that whole adventure. Personally, last year at this time, I was very adamantly not ready to be done with van life. I felt like we were just getting started and I was really excited to visit all 50 states. Today, I can admit I am beyond ready to be done with van life. And I am super proud of us because we did indeed hit all 50 states in the United States. <laughs> So I was hoping to get Andy to join me again to answer these questions this year, but doesn't look like that's gonna be happening. So I'll just answer them myself. It's really hard to decide what my absolute favorite moment of the whole year is, just because we honestly did so much awesome stuff in the past 12 months. Like, I know for a fact there will never be a year of my life again that was this jam-packed with adventures. But if I had to choose something, I would say my favorite moment of 2023 was probably the entirety of our Thailand trip. So we went to Thailand for three and a half weeks back in February and I feel like I was really able to remove myself during that trip and just kind of experience life's joys. We were literally on the other side of the world. We were in an entirely different culture and I needed that. It was nice to see that my personal problems really are in the grand scheme of things insignificant and there is like a whole world out there that has nothing to do with me. Choosing a specific moment of the Thailand trip, I really liked riding in the tuk tuks. I liked eating curry and I had a lot of fun on the monkey hike. My least favorite moment of 2023 were the numerous times where we had a full gray water tank, a full pee jug, a full sink of dirty dishes, no water in our water tank, and nowhere to dump our fluids. <laughs> Talk about miserable. The past two or three years, my New Year's resolution has been to read like a certain number of books per month. And I feel like I've accomplished that enough times now that it has become like an ingrained habit that I will probably continue to do hopefully forever. So that's good and I'm gonna continue that habit into 2024. This year I'm gonna read the Bible. I've never read it, I've always wanted to, and Rachel lent me her copy. It's for lack of a better term like a dumbed down version of the Bible so hopefully I can actually understand what I'm reading and like comprehend what it's talking about because the times that I have read parts of the Bible in the past it just was like so over my head and I couldn't even focus on what it was saying because it just like the wording is so confusing but I am gonna do it. This is the year. I also am giving myself the goal of continuing to post once a week on YouTube. This is something I've done the past, I guess it's been a year and a half. I know I won't have any issues with this through the summer. And I mean, I'm always busy, but I have been able to prioritize posting once a week on YouTube for the past year and a half, which has just been like so nice. But once I go back to my regular classroom job in the fall, my schedule will get disgustingly hectic. <laughs> and unfortunately, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time to continue to make YouTube videos every week. I guess you could argue that, you know, if it was something that was like my main priority or a big priority of mine, I would make the time. Just from my experience of how long it takes to edit one single video, like it just isn't really possible with the other priorities I have in my life, especially if I'm like a full-time classroom teacher. I am going to try it my absolute best because YouTube is like my thing. I want it to keep being my thing and it brings me a lot of joy. So if I can swing it, I want to keep doing it. But again, we'll just have to see how the school 
school year goes once it starts up in August. In 2024, I am really looking forward to having a place to live, not a place on wheels, like an actual concrete building where we can have kind of like a home base. I'm looking forward to having my own personal paycheck again, and I'm looking forward to getting our nutrition in a better place. I said that last year, the nutrition thing, but living in this tiny little space with this tiny little fridge just really proved to be really difficult to actually eat well. And you know, we just literally have nowhere to store our food. Our fridge is just way too small. I want to wish you a happy new year. I hope your life is blessed and continues to be. And whether this is the first video of mine you've seen, you occasionally watch my videos or you watch my videos every single week. Thank you so, so much. This is something that I really enjoy doing and having people tune into my videos really motivates me to keep going. See you in 2024. We've driven through areas that have signs on the side of the road warning against bears and moose. And now we're in a part of the country or a part of the world where there's signs on the side of the road warning you about panthers. Just eating my daily avocado toast. What <laughs> the? That is terrifying. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That's so scary. Funny. And he tinted the back windows so we can look out of them now and it's been a game changer. If you haven't figured this out from watching my other videos, anytime Andy sees welds, he has to inspect them. He's got like pock marks on it or something. He also have spatter. Underwater welds are no exception. We woke up to pouring rain today. That is a close one. It reaches though. Barely. Got it in about an inch. Hallelujah, we have water. I had to use a 5 16 inch socket to turn it on. But we did ask. They said it's okay. No monkeys? No monkeys yet. Thank goodness for the bamboo rails. I wish I could just pick it up. It is uh, 30 degrees in Iowa. Our pillow is frozen. $18. No way. Yeah. Why so expensive? I have no idea. Oh, Casual mode of transportation. Bonnie and Clyde ate their last meal in this museum because in 1934 it was a sandwich shop. Then they drove 10 miles down the road and were ambushed by police. New Orleans. New Orleans. Are you being cute? Are you being cute? I accidentally dropped a jar lid to a jar of sauce behind the counter and it had food on it. So if we leave it back there, it's probably gonna mold and we can't reach it with our hands. Radar system. It's like sweet tea. $9 worth of sweet tea. What are we up to? We're pulled off on the side of the road waiting for the van to cool down because we're having engine overheating issues yet again. We thought it was fixed, but apparently it's not. Pretty lucky it's only like 70 degrees right now. It's raining outside and all this is water coming in through the ceiling. That is not good. It's a really, really dumb idea, but it looks clean. How much longer do you think you'll be? I don't know, hour or two. Oh, wow. Today, we're in Leavenworth, Washington. It's a gorgeous weather. It's gonna be a high of 75, and we're gonna go do a hike. Did you get potatoes? Did I get potatoes? Yeah. No, was I supposed to? <laughs> Did you tell me to? Oh my God. 
We're gonna convert this into a swivel seat. This is nice. Kind of tempted to have a beach day tomorrow. Ready? What are we doing? Going into the Badlands. Careful, Andy. I think this is about as far as I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna go as far as him. We just got to Niagara Falls. Henry, are you having so much fun? <laughs> oh, <dude>. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> People walking. Are they watching? Yeah. This is the most random book haul. We made it back to the train station. What a day. Andy was out flying the drone trying to get footage for YouTube videos and it was like amazing views of the mountains and the valleys up there. We were in this super remote location. So like, uh, you know, he's got the, I think it's like a 22, like on his shoulder. And he's like, if you don't take it down, I will. And that, that was like, the, that was it for the conversation. Do you think we should leave and not stay here? Pretty weird. Are we doing this? Yeah. Okay, let's, let's go. Try to. We're going home. <laughs> Four more days and we get to tour apartments. The rain is getting a little old just because van life is really difficult when it's raining. I wish I could count down the days till we could move into our new apartment, but I don't know when our move-in date is gonna be yet. We think we have found an apartment. We are settling in for our final night in the van. <laughs> 